Hello there, this is Zayd Al Shaheed, and uh, this is something that I wanted to share with you guys, and uh, it's, I'm calling it a painting simulation. Uh, there is this thing that uh, I always strive to do, but I was not never able to do uh, due to technical difficulties and uh, uh, not having experience nor the budget to learn and do it, uh, which is. Uh, uh, traditional style looking paintings. Uh, traditional style looking paintings, it has a certain thing where uh, when you look at a painting in a certain light condition, it looks a little bit different. If the lighting is hitting it from the right, uh, it looks different. If, you're, if it, the light is hitting it from the left, it's different from the top, etc. Uh, so, and that is caused by basically uh, layers and layers of uh, of paints uh, uh, that you know like you're stacking on top of each other when you're doing an oil painting uh, I found out uh, I, I was kind of like I know about it but not as much and I did not understand a lot of it uh, because I did not have the uh, budget or nor the time to actually study some oil painting and you know like in real life in real condition and uh, the software that uh, gives these kind of results are, uh, it used to be very uh, processor and, and memory intensive, like uh, Painter X, and it really slows down my computer and I couldn't use it. So, and, and also the technical difficulties that goes behind those softwares when it comes to learning how to do all of these things. So uh, it was very, very difficult for me to achieve those kind of results. Uh, it hit me when previously, like, ten, I think 10, ten or uh, 9 years ago when I got a, an Ashley book, uh, Ashley, uh, what's it, Ashley Woods book, uh, it was uh, for World War Robots, I think, uh, uh, it had these amazing painting scans, but it, it the, uh, I th don't think it was scans, I think it was photographs, because the lighting was hitting the painting in a certain way that you can feel the texture on those prints so uh, a few months ago I got back into into uh, uh, doing some uh, some stuff and I found this article uh, on a website called uh, I might be butchering it <laughs> uh, it's called asukashinsha.jp so it was an interview with uh, Ayami Kojima, which I'm a huge fan of since since forever, uh, since I'm also a fan of the Castlevania games, and uh, she in that interview she was saying how she was uh, doing her paintings and how she's doing all of these uh, 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 the way that she paints and and her process of doing the paintings, and uh, one of the images really struck me hard. Uh, which I'm going to put it on the other software here. I'm going to put it on CSP. Let me change the, uh, the view here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, put this one right here. Okay, so in here you see that the uh, she had one layer of, of uh, coating on top of her painting uh, that helps catching up the light and give more texture and feel to the uh, to the painting that she's doing uh, even if it's like a block uh, a black area uh, uh, she still wants to create this uh, uh, sense of uh, negative and positive spacing that there is something there but there actually isn't so she used to use these uh, acrylic transparent paints where she paints uh, uh, these layers on top of her paintings or at least in the empty areas and uh, it really hit me when I was reading that article. It was like how she did it. I and I had a painting that I did before uh, that uh, I was trying to achieve the style, but really did not reach the result that I wanted. But at least it it looks at, and feels the colors are there, uh, which is this painting right here. Uh, so I took this painting, okay, and. Uh, I decided like I'm gonna give it depth but uh, since I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to that <laughs> uh, I decided to uh, 
use Blender to my advantage. And I've been learning a little bit more about texture nodes and all of these things. And I took a very simple approach to how to make this painting pop up a little bit more. Uh, so at first I took the painting uh, itself and I turned it into a black and white. And I bumped up the levels uh, and gave it a little bit more depth and, and made the whites more brighter and gave this, uh, you know, uh, some information for the bump map to have but I did not feel like it's going to be enough so I created a second bump uh, which uh, simulate kind of like a, with various brushes that I had it kind of simulates uh, having some brush strokes around uh, like you're painting with the uh, like what she said the the clear uh, uh, coat that she uses so after a little bit of trial and error uh, I'm gonna go back to Blender here. Uh, we had this result. So in here, this is actually a a flat uh, plane, and I just unwrapped it and I put the uh, applied the material on it, and I had a series of of nodes here. Let's. Uh, uh, Stack them closer to each other so we'll understand what is going on. Oh boy, okay. Okay, so the first one is the the actual color. This is the, the painting that I had. And for the bump, I used a color ramp to uh, uh, to give a little bit of roughness, which is like I'm trying to give it some shininess to to the painting, so it will catch up the light better. And the same thing, the same bump. I had also a color ramp and turn it into a bump map, and I mixed it with the second bump, which is this one the manually painted like maybe uh, the, the clear coat uh, layer and also I controlled it with a color ramp and turned it into a bump so I mixed those uh, bumps together and inverted and that was the result that you see right here and for the scene uh, I was thinking like what what would uh, uh, a painting in a gallery how they are gonna light it and usually I see that the light is coming from the top uh, in a certain way so I did apply a very simple uh, uh, point light I think or a spotlight let me check it's a spotlight uh, to give some uh, uh, light to the painting and I did not feel like it was there uh, still so I had a uh, because the the colors of the painting itself was a bit red so I th said that uh, maybe I should emphasize on on that and I applied a uh, a red uh, spotlight uh, coming from the bottom uh, to make the painting pop up a little bit more like if you're gonna remove that light see that it's kind of lost a bit of its color and I didn't want that I wanted a bit more color so I added the uh, the red here if you notice for the elite we got a little bit more red and we can change the color to whatever we want so we can have a little bit of contrast so we can make a blue and it's gonna have this cold feel to it so I thought that this is a very interesting way of uh, presenting an artwork uh, and making it feel like an, uh, uh, a real painting and I even applied that method to uh, to a bunch of uh, traditionally uh, made paintings like uh, uh, Frank Verzetta's uh, uh, works and it really gave it like a small little pop-up that uh, that when you're moving the the painting around with the light shining on it you can feel the depth of those strokes you can feel the depth of those uh, textures so I thought that this is uh, this might be a very interesting idea to approach uh, doing uh, digital artwork. 
and making it feel more like a traditional painting. So having those thick layers of, of paint on top of each other to, to stack up and create those interesting textures. And uh, after that, I did a, a camera and I took a render out of that and the uh, final result, uh, let me open that with uh, with CSP. And that was the final, uh, sorry, final result. So you can actually feel like that there is a canvas with those small little, uh, ironically these are pixels, but it feels like the the weave of a canvas and the, the red light is hitting it from the bottom. And uh, you have all of these uh, uh, texture, uh, feel like that there is a splatter with the brush and there is the brush strokes in here and everything started to pop up a little bit more. So yeah, that's that's about it. I wanted to share this with you guys and, and maybe it's going to be helpful for someone. Uh, I'm intending maybe to do a series of paintings like this and see where it goes. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share and I hope this is uh, a helpful thing to share <laughs> with everyone. So uh, thank you very much. This is Adel Shahid signing out. Have a wonderful day.